Troops TV, presented by Barstool Sports. Uh, we're on to the player ratings segment. Let's start with uh, the man in goal, Bernd Leno. Yeah, he had a good game. Um, I don't think he could have done much with the goal. Um, the only thing he did kind of book, he was like, literally after we went 1-0 down, he passed the ball to fucking Vardy, blood. But luckily, it just like kind of bounced off him and straight back into Thank Leno. You. you get me? That was the only thing he did that was really suspect today. Otherwise, he never had to do nothing, blood. We had the good game under control. You understand? It, it was a good vibe today. You get me? Leno. <clears throat> Leno, I will give a strong seven. seven. All right, on to the left back, Kieran Tierney. Tierney, I will give a strong seven. Um, I think he just performs every game. You get me to a level where you're just like, you know what? You're the guy, blood. You get me? And future Arsenal captain, you understand? He knows what it means. You get me? Another great performance from Tierney. Seven. seven. All right, on to the centre backs. Pablo Mari. Mari. Mari, I give, <clears throat> Mari, I give a seven. You get me? I think he done well today. You understand? He's very good with the ball, blood. The way he uses the ball, he is really a a a ball playing centre back, blood. You understand? He 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 just punches it into into midfield, blood. You get me? He plays some great football out from the back, blood. You get me? Another good performance from Mari. Good to see him back in the team. Seven. Uh, his partner David Luiz. Luiz, I give a I give an eight. You understand? Um, I think he has looked really, really good. You understand? I think he done really well uh, midweek, especially with Gabriel doing up calamity. And then today again, very, very well. Great header. You understand? To get us back into the game, 1-1. One, one. You understand? Leading by example. You get me? Showing, showing what Arteta says about him. You get me? Arteta says he has a big influence on the, on the youngsters and he's a He's a leading example and, 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 and experience. And today, he, he showed that today, blood. You get me? Eight for David Luiz. Uh, right back, Cedric Suarez. Cedric, I give a strong seven. You get me? <clears throat> I don't want to ever see Bellerin in this team again. I do not want to see Hector, Hector Ballerina, Hector Bellerin, whatever you want to call him, blood. Hector Bellerin, I do not want to see that brother in this team no more, blood. Do you understand? Because... You see how effective Pepe was today. And that was down to Cedric, blood. You understand? Having a proper right back behind him who knows how to attack. You get me? And overlap. And he knows when to do the things. You get me? So, yeah, man. A strong seven for Cedric today. All right. On to our midfield. Our two pivots. Let's start with Granite Chaka. <clears throat> Xhaka, I give a <clears throat> seven as well. Um, I think he had a bit, he had a shaky start, <clears throat> you get me, um, that terrible ball that he tried to play Willy and he tried to get back in, but you get me, like, early on again in the game and the concentration levels is not there, blood, you understand, but then after that mistake, he did have a great performance after that, blood, you understand, he kept the midfield together because Mohamed or sideways was nowhere to be fucking seen as usual, blood, you get me, so yeah, a strong seven. For Granite Xhaka. And as he, as he alluded to, Mohamed El Sideways. Yeah, Mohamed El Sideways, blood. He gets a four, fam. You understand? He's lucky to get a four, blood. You get me? He's lucky to get a four, blood. But he was just, everything was just sideways today. He was just getting overrun in the midfield. Passing was off. Like the goal, the first goal. Like what, what in God's name is he doing there, blood? Do you understand? Like I have no clue what he's doing there. And yeah. A four for Mohamed O sideways today, blood. Uh, right, the three behind the, the striker. Let's start with Emil Smith Rowe. Smith Rowe, I give a five. You get me? Obviously, he came off with the injury. I'm hoping it's not too bad. Uh, still, have, still haven't seen uh, non, no word on it yet, so we have to wait and see what happens there. But yeah, man, I think a standard five today. He looked tired. You get me? I didn't even want him to start today. I wanted him and Saka to get the rest. So when I saw Saka on the bench, I was, I was happy. I would have preferred Odegaard to start ahead of Emil. But yeah, man, stand to five for Emil today. All right, the guy's on the flanks. Uh, Willian? Willian gets a nine. You understand? Um, another great performance from him. Uh, people were sceptical of him um, starting. Uh, so was I. 
Um, I was like, he done well midweek, but can he do it again? And he did it again, blood. He was on smoke, fam. You understand? Two assists. You get me? Lovely from Willian today, blood. He tucked in. Defensively strong. You get me? He was tracking his runners. He was on point today, blood. You can't have no complaints from him. Uh, the man on the other flank, Nico Pepe. Pepe, Pepe also gets a nine. You understand? They're both getting the nine. You get me? Uh, both of them man of the match. You can't really pick out a man of the match because they were both so good. You get me? Pepe was causing mayhem. Absolute mayhem throughout the whole game, blood. Got my man substituted at half time, blood. You understand? Took his soul. He was on Shang Sun vibes today, blood. Taking niggas' souls, Take blood. You understand? Taking car keys and all sorts, blood. You understand? When he empties his pockets today, blood, he's going to be emptying out fucking Ricardo, the little, the, <laughs> the little white you that came off first. Oh, Thomas. Thomas. You get me, like, he's emptying beer man or Rogers, his red face. That's, <laughs> that, that, that's due to drop out as well, blood. You get me, Nico Ross, Clark Pepe. Keep it up, bro. Nine. And then the man up front, uh, like a Z. Like a blood Clark Z, the number nine. But the number nine gets an eight. You understand? Because I think he was tremendous today. He held up the ball. You understand? Link up play. Got the goal. You get me? Armband. Wore the armband with pride. You understand? Hasn't, has, hasn't had a lot of game time and he looked good today. Yeah. You get me? But he wasn't as good as Willian and Pepe. So Laka gets a strong eight. All right. The fellas off the bench. Martin Odegaard. Odegaard gets a seven. I think he done well when he come on, blood. You understand? You're, you're, you're starting to see what he's capable of doing, blood. You get me? The way he manipulates that ball, fam. You understand? It's, it's Ozil-less. You get me? It's, all, it's Ozil-less, blood. But I come like he don't want to shoot as well, blood. He just wants to assist. Yeah, because with the, with, 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 when he slid it to uh, Willian and then Pepe got the third, yeah. blood. He could have shot. Yeah, he shot yeah. You understand? But he's, he's, I'm getting Ozil vibes off him. You get me? So, yeah, man. A, a, yeah, blood. Definitely. Um, a strong seven for Odegaard. Thomas Partey? Partey gets a six. You get me? He just came on and brought that, that strength, that solidity we needed in the midfield that Oneni was not bringing. That presence. You understand? Tightened it up, blood. You get me? Gave Xhaka another human being in the midfield because throughout the, because up until then it was just Xhaka on a fucking hologram. That me, I say. <laughs> in the last... <laughs> Last off the bench, uh, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. <laughs> By my blood clot, Yang never had enough time. Came on four minutes to go, standard five. All right, the gaffer. I give Arteta a seven today. You understand? The only issue I had was two issues I had today. Oneni and not seeing Martinelli. You get me? I would have preferred to have seen Martinelli come off the bench than Abba. You get me? I would have liked Abba to get a full 90-minute rest. We've got a whole week ahead of us where we can chill before the Burnley game. So it would have been good to see Martinelli get some game time. So I don't know where we're going to get him in. You get me? Because we've got Burnley, Olympiacos, and then Tottenham. You get me? And then we got Olympiacos, and then West Ham, and then Liverpool. These are very, very, very big, big games, blood. You get me? So I don't know how you're going to fit Martinelli in now. Uh, but a strong seven for Mikel. Seven for, for Arteta. All right. Last but not least, uh, the ref. Actually, last and least. The ref, I give a zero. Um, Couple of decisions that I wasn't happy with. You get me? Um, the amount, like, Sioncho should have had a yellow card on Pepe. The, the Thomas brother should have been booked before that. There was another time when they, uh, 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 uh Sioncho, uh, need Pepe. You get me? Oh, Dead yeah. leaded, nothing was given yeah, again. Yeah. There was when, when Jaco got clarted, Tierney got clarted. There was bad things happening, blood. You understand? The VAR, they were. VAR penalty. Give me the VAR things. Um, oh, an Arsenal true. fan said that it was the indeed he found they gave it that's, for. Yeah, yeah. That's, they never gave it for the Tillemans, which I found out now. So it wasn't a penalty, which is okay, fair enough. But yeah, man, the ref gets a zero today. That's uh, that's the player ratings.